Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I first of all just want to say that I'm sorry for being so MIA but I have several videos to post one after the other because I filmed them all a while ago and I just hadn't gotten around to editing them so I'm gonna have lots of content coming out in the next couple of days. Um, this video is actually going to be two spreads, technically, and they're going to be for the concept photos for a Pentagon Suit album, Universe, The Black Hall. I'm really, really behind on all of the content that has come out from my three favorite groups, which are Pentagon, Dreamcatcher, and BTS, and that is because they all decided to come back at exactly the same time. So I have a lot of content that I want to put into my bullet journal that I'm just like feeling really overwhelmed about, but don't worry, I will get to it eventually. I just might be kind of late on posting some things. So I'm technically splitting this up into two separate spreads in this video. And the first one is for the downside version of the album and the second spread will be for the upside version of the album. So I was actually super obsessed with the downside concept photos. I don't know what it is about them. They're just like really edgy and dark and that is just really up my alley. I mean, I say that, but I also really love like really pretty pink kind of concept photos as well. But I don't know, I just really love these a lot and I feel like Pentagon do dark concepts really well or I mean, I guess the concept itself isn't super dark, but like the photos are dark. You get what I mean. It's a dark aesthetic. And I just really love that. And I feel like they also translate into my journal really well. These photos in particular have like a very solid color scheme. It's like, you know, purple, pink, red, and like black. And I just, that works really well for a spread. And so I was really excited to do this spread. And I don't wanna get too ahead of myself, but this spread is one of my favorite spreads that I've done in a while. So I'm really excited to share it with you. So for the lettering on this one, I decided to go with my air quotes faux calligraphy method and that's because I wanted to do a gradient with the colors and it's just easier to blend the colors in this way than trying to do the colors with one solid color brush pen and then put the colors on top of it. If the gradient is like the same color like it's two just di different hues of blue then I can do that but when the colors are all really different it doesn't really work that way so I decided to go with this method and I have already said I'm obsessed with this spread but I'm also really obsessed with how this lettering turned out
I decided to go with a purple drop shadow because I wanted to incorporate all of the colors that I was using into the lettering but it's hard to put too many colors in a gradient in lettering because the letters are only so big and then you don't have very much space to blend so I decided to use the purple in that way. So you may notice that the spreads are pretty busy and there's not like a whole lot of white space left over for writing and that's because since they're just concept photos I really wanted the photos to be the main focus of these spreads so I wanted the photos to be bigger and to just have a really cool look to them so I decided I didn't really need to write that much for concept photos so in both spreads I left just like a little bit of space to just kind of write like why i like those photos or maybe why i didn't i mean th there weren't any photos that i didn't like but if that were the case that's what i would have written so yeah that's why there's not very much writing on this if you're wondering like this is supposed to be a journal you weren't even journaling well that's because these spreads are really about the photos if that makes sense So moving on to the upside version, these concept photos did not have as bright of a color scheme. So I mostly tried to stick with just black and red for my accent photos. I didn't want to get too crazy and like add my own accent color, even though I was obsessed with the colorfulness of the downside version. I still wanted these spreads to be different and show the difference in the two versions. So watching this now, I realized that I really missed the opportunity to do like either just lines drawn or washi tape in the background of just like lines all over the paper kind of the way that the yarn or the string is in the concept photos. I don't know why I didn't think of that when I was making the spread and honestly I'm really really regretting it now. <laughs> Hit 
So here's a look at the final spreads like i said i am still really really obsessed with the downside spread it's one of my favorite spreads that i've done in a while of course i had really good photos to work with and that always helps but i'm really obsessed with it i like it a lot and i am very very happy with it and i was really excited to share it with you guys I also, of course, like the upside version as well, and I like those photos too, although I am really kicking myself for not doing the lines in the background, but I really like the collage thing that I did there on the left with like some of the photos are cut out, some aren't, and there are different sizes. I really want to incorporate that into another spread somehow in the future. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you like this spread, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.